to Chelsea. Much colder. Some of the coldest air we've seen so far this season. So we're talking about the 30s. Some will get close to freezing and that's <laughs> why we have that frost advisory right. going into effect. So expect some frost in the morning. We could definitely tell today that that cold front moved on through last evening and allowed for that cooler air to move on in high pressure system sitting out to our northwest drawing in that cooler air today. Highs struggle to get into the 60s for some didn't even get out of the 50s. So a very unseasonably cool day and it's a chilly evening. Can't really see that on camera. It looks really beautiful out there. Temperatures though already in the 40s. 48 degrees winds out of the north about nine miles per hour. Throughout the day we had a nice breeze that kept it pretty chilly even out in the sunshine. Temperatures currently around the area. We're all seeing the 40s at this point. 42 in Muncie, 47 in Greencastle. So some Pretty close to already getting down into the 30s, and we are expecting those early morning lows to be around 35 in Indy, 32 in Lafayette, that freezing point in Muncie, and around 33 in Columbus. So it's going to be those near freezing temperatures. So if you're heading out to Bloomington for the IU homecoming game as they take on Michigan, kickoff is at noon, but if you're tailgating in the morning, 10 o'clock, it's just going to start getting into the 40s. So make sure you have those extra layers on to stay warm and by kickoff only in the 50s and daytime highs maxing out in the mid 50s. Sunday is going to be a similar start to the day in the 30s. However, we are going to be maxing out uh, or we're going to be warming back up into the 60s. And for the start of next week, the high pressure system moving off to the east. So we are going to have the winds return out of the south and then a cold front is going to be moving on in. So we'll have a warm up for the first start of the upcoming week. We'll see those 70s, but that chance for rain on Wednesday, but tomorrow morning it is definitely going to be cold. Make sure you have those coats. All right, Chelsea, thanks so much. And we want to remind you, we do need your help still for our Coats for Kids drive. You have one more day to help us. So if you can, please consider donating a new or a gently used coat tomorrow. You can do so at any classic cleaners location. We've got a link to all those locations. Just go to WTHR.com slash coats.